Hey guys, it's me, Barb, the uh, B-Rex PR Goddess One. This is my channel, B-Rex PR Goddess One, the uh, Glamazon Hot Mess, which is usually my beauty hoard upstairs. But I am filming today, which is the 1st of December. So I'm going to try and put these up as soon as I can. This is probably going to be all out of order. I apologize in advance. If you're new to my channel, thank you for coming by. If you are a return viewer, thank you for watching and your continued patronage. Either way, I hope that you like what you see and that you respond accordingly by hitting like. And if you don't like it, I mean, I'm sorry. I guess you can give me a thumbs down. I mean, like that would be the way to express that, but whatevs. So if you do end up liking what you see though, and you want to subscribe, it's simple. Hit the subscribe and then hit notifications because I don't have a set upload schedule, which is why these are all going up at all crazy times. And if you are a return viewer, you've already done that probably unless you're stalking my page. And I guess that's the way to go. Okay, back to the point. So I had today off. For personal day to take care of a lot of medical appointments, get some blood drawn. And I have started to get some of my additional items in from Black Friday, Amazon monthly subscribe and save, you know, the usual. I know I ordered from Ulta and I know I ordered a fair amount because I had a lot of points to cash in on. However, first box fit on my lap. I'm going to flip the thing, uh, the, the camera angle, because remember, I'm filming off my phone, and I'm going to show you what this second box looks like. Imagine my horror and surprise. I don't even know if this is something I ordered or if maybe somebody sent me something. And if you did send me something and I figure it out, awesome, I'll thank you. If I don't figure it out when you sent it, I'm sorry, but it still shocks the hell out of me. But let's just go there. Let's look at the size of this box. That's a seat. This is a kitchen. And that is the box. So imagine my horror. I was not expecting anything that big. Ooh, I have you on a chintzy little stand. So let's begin. Oh, and if you're getting those uh, J.J. Abrams style lens flares, that's from the can lighting my brother-in-law installed when he redesigned the kitchen. Because that's his style. Let me move this a little down. But here we go. I actually was smart enough this time to bring something to hold the phone while I did this. Handy dandy. Cheap. Uh box cutter a la what's its face um u-haul love those obviously we have a lot of these a lot of these did i say a lot because there's a lot okay but this is the order i think oh wow this this didn't even this still says order processing it didn't even say that it's arrived yet so yeah i mean it's a multi-pager but they all are for me this is somebody's gift, so I can't really show it off. It, although I will say that the rest is kind of, as we would say in Spanish, tirado ahí, you know, just thrown there, but whatevs. All right. We have the, I'm a, I'm a huge Simpsons person. Makeup Revolution did a holiday treehouse, a horror line for the Simpsons. And this is the Spooktacular Shadow Palette. And these are the colors that are supposed to be there. I didn't pay 25 for this. I waited, it was $12.50 on sale. And then it went down an additional 50% off. So I think I got it for like, I don't even remember how much. Okay. And likewise, this is the lip kit. It's a liquid lipstick and a um, lip gloss. You know, I'm not crazy about lip gloss, but you know, it's it's the Simpsons, so I'll keep it. And this is Flanders is the devil. I mean, is that not the cutest thing? Because again, Treehouse of Horror, it's supposed to be scary. So it's the only two things I got off of the line because reasons. Oh, I got this puppy because he might be broken up for stocking stuffers. I'm not sure yet. Or go to somebody who maybe doesn't watch. I'm just saying. Oh, this was the um, Cyber Day bag for 80 bucks spent. We'll go into him later. I can assume safely that there should be more coming because I don't see the rest of it here. So maybe that's what it meant. This is somebody's gift. It was on sale, but it's adorable. I know they like candles and they like the rose spray so why not then i got this little travel size um brio geo hair care kit i've used the deep conditioning mask before and love it this is the the two ounce um i usually get the one ounce it's like half size from um ipsy or from sephora as like a gift for purchase or part of a sample bag but this one had their strengthening treatment oil and what i like about it is this is the only hair oil next to like bread from ma the macadamia oil from bread that's actually silicone free. So this, this is for me. And then they gave me this 
for buying this. So yeah. And by the way, Treehouse of Horror, if you didn't guess, that's totally mine. Because Treehouse of freaking horror. What else we got here? I've been wanting to try these forever. They were sitting in my cart in the save section. These are the coconut lime um, gynecologist-based female wipes. I would probably keep these if I had an accident. You know what I mean? And I'm getting ready to have surgery, so this is going to make sense. And uh, these are the Sweet Spot Labs. So they're supposed to be safe for anywhere, especially the hoo-ha. Not that I go putting things in your hoo-ha. You know, stop putting things inside! But, you know, you get the idea. Let's do this. I'm sick of that freaking... You know what? Hold on. We're changing the lighting. I cut off the freaking can lighting because it was annoying me. Now I got the overhead Edisons, which are kind of cool. Let me switch it up for you. See? And I tend to put these... In the dishwasher, it's been a little while, so I probably should. Versus those that just create glare. Put you back down. Wait for the shaking to stun. Flip you back. Welcome back! All right. So, then I have more candles because these were gifts for people. I don't know if it's all in here or not. I'm going to have to, like, look at it against the list. Because they'll only give, they don't give you the full order. They give you, in your packing slip, only what you actually have in the box, which is kind of not helpful. Because I would prefer if they gave you the full order, so that way you would know what's back ordered or coming in a separate box. But, you know, whatevs. Another candle that's a gift. Because I love to give candles as gifts there. Safe. Three. Put them down there. Four. So I have... Three of these, this one in the silicone, and then the set. So that's one, two, three, four, five gift candles here. I ordered some from Amazon also. Those, I believe, are Yankee candles. I got like three of them. And then I have another two downstairs. So I can figure out what scents. I get them whenever they're on sale, different scents. And then I kind of just play around and give them to different people. All right. Here we have, ooh, the curl shaping jelly. I like Hask's curl line because, again, most of it, not all of it. You got to read the labels. Silicone free. And again, I mean, you can't tell with the way my hair is today, but this is like three day old hair. I've been putting ponytails in just because running around like a nut. So this used to come in a different color container and it was a little bit bigger because it's only 6.7 ounces now. It used to be like eight and a half. So I see you. But this is their curl defining cream. It used to be more of a lotion. Kind of like the texture of the Mark Anthony one. The problem with Mark Anthony one is, go ahead and say it, it's got a silicone in it. The only two of them happen to be water soluble, so I can never remember which two they are, so I just avoid them all like the plague. And this is supposed to be a curl shaping jelly, like a spray gel. And what I like is it has a dollar off. So this was only like four bucks on sale versus eight. And um, now I have a dollar off for a future purchase. And then this one had been sitting in there. This is a Makeup Revolution. This is the Super Fix. Super hold mist setting spray, so it looks almost like aerosol hairspray. Ultra matte finish, aloe and vitamin E, and it is five ounces. This was originally 15. I think I got it on sale for like six. So sale matters. Now here are some. Oh my god, what does it look like? See, because they just threw shit in here. Pardon my French. Things look like rats. Look at this. How do you pull out a $22 lipstick that you got on sale, by the way? But and have it look like it's already been opened. Now I gotta check and make sure it isn't some sort of buddy, somebody's reject return because, oh yeah, we have to still call them. I've been trying to get through to Ulta for a couple days now. Oh, this looks like Bronx, I love it. Bronx was my first ever matte lipstick from them. And then I got Verushka. And stupid me, I thought Verushka was too dark on me and I sent it back, I gave it back to them for the back to Mac. I should've kept it, it's a discontinued color, go figure. But this is the Powder Kiss Rouge lipstick in Teddy 2.0. A bit darker, which I like, because sometimes Teddy's a little too pale. But I do love me a nude matte. Matte Ultra Lipstick, Antique Velvet. And then Russian Red, which I had put back. But if I got these three, I got this guy. So yeah. Um, let's take a peek. Everybody knows what Russian Red looks like. If you don't, I will open it for you, but yeah. This one is the Antique Velvet, so it's a nice dark brown. Versus Verushka was like a dark wine and brown together. I still miss Verushka. I think about it all the time. Yes, I am that obsessive. I'm in therapy. Leave me alone. Even my therapist is like, find something else to do with your time. I'm like, I can't help it. My brain gravitates back. And here's Russian Red. Which I have a mini of. But again, certain colors you want to have in full size. 
Now these guys are supposed to be, I don't know if they're supposed to be full sizes or minis. It's a trio, it says $40 value. And they did offer it for sale at a time, but, oh shit, they're full size. Shut the fuck up. Pardon my French. <sighs> Sometimes nothing really, really lets you the world know how you feel except a swear word. So we have shocking revelation that I'm throwing around like a freak. Work, 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 and mull it over. I think I have mull it over already. I have to check. But let's open. I'm not going to swatch anything because if any of these are dupes, unless it's a color I wear all the time, I am going to gift them. I think I'd have this color already. I'm not sure. But it was free. If I have him, he's going to get gifted. If I don't, I keep him. So he goes there. Let's mull it over. I think they have them in... Yeah, because that would be mull it over. I just don't remember which ones of these are this. So we'll just check. Let's try work, work, work. Because I'm in a Rihanna kind of mood. I still got to hit the bank. I still have to go to Target and pick up a uh, ship to store order. You know, one of those, uh, you order it from the app and you drive up and they put it in your car. <sighs> They smell like vanilla. I've always been a sucker for a MAC lipstick. I cannot lie. I never gave MAC up. Although I was very heartbroken when they got sold to What's It's Face. Uh, well, I gotta wait and see which red this one actually was compared to this red. Let's see Shocking Revelation. I think Shocking Revelation might be the brightest of the three. And Work, Work, Work might be a little deeper. But let's see. I was right. The brightest one is Work, Work, Work which is more of a true red. And the saddest thing is you can buy all of these individually for 22 bucks. So even at 40 bucks for three of these, it is a deal. However, if you spent 50 or something like that, I think I have a couple more of the MAC lipsticks coming. I think I bought four at $15 each when they were on sale. And then I got this for free, which makes up for the fact that I was pissed that I had missed another MAC deal on Black Friday because I was adding stuff and it sold out while stuff was in my cart. So I think that one was like a clutch, uh, a powder, like a pressed powder, some something else. This is way more my style. Of course, the other one I think was gift for 40. This was gift for 50. But three full-size lipsticks is worth it. And I know I have more lipstick coming. So, yeah. So, basically, I'm happy about my lipsticks. I just wish that this guy didn't look like a smashed asshole. Pardon my French. Let's just go there. Let's see what's up in here. Because, honestly, anything that doesn't look really awesome, I'm going to literally put in my makeup swap bag box. Because what I do is anytime I get samples and stuff I don't care for, guess where they go? They go in the pile, and then the girls and I, when we have our periodic meetings, we will talk about them. Whoever wants what can try what, and if nobody wants it, then it goes in the donate it to the women's shelter. These are always handy. Travel size of the uh, all-nighter from Urban Decay. Okay, Cos RX, which is, you know, K-Beauty, Korean skincare, Advanced Snail Mucin Gel Cleanser. I'm not into this. I don't want anything with snails on my face. I don't care what they say they do. I'm not having it. Okay, Juice Beauty. This is the Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. That's a maybe. I think I have one of those already. Oh, I love this. Because they have four versions of the bag, and I basically chose it because I wanted this. This is the Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon Hemp's and sanitizer full size for the you know they have a big pump one but that's like 20 something bucks but this one goes usually 750. what else we have up in here oh look purity one step facial cleanser it works it's okay it's not my favorite i'll use it again with that spanish phrase se deja comer you know it's edible so basically in that same vein it, it's doable all right, then, oh, this is the world's fattest half-size mascara I've ever seen. This is the Lash Blast Volume, which I've used before and I enjoy. It's not the world's best for somebody with thin, short, downturned lashes that are straight. But, I mean, it does the job. If I curl and I put a primer on, it will work. All right, we have The Way. Ooh, their hair oil, which I bet the first ingredient, yep. Cyclopentoxilicane dimethicone. This is getting donated. My Stellar My Stellar Makeup Remover Wipe by Petite and Pretty. One single wipe. Handy. Keep in your purse because you never know. Bliss Drench and Quench Cream to Water Hydrator for All Day Moisture. I have a try. I have like a travel size and the full size. Love this stuff. That's staying. Urban Skin RX 
All right, I have some of their stuff and I've given some to my mom. It's not bad. Um, melanin Experts, that's why I like it. Purifying 2-in-1 Pumpkin Pure Detox Mask and Scrub with Kaolin Bromelain, which is an enzyme in things like papayas and pineapples, and salicylic acid. So it smooths, clarifies, and improves the appearance of pore size. This is 0.27 of an ounce, 8 milliliters, single serve mask, good for travel. Because then you don't have to worry about bringing anything else. Plus, when you're limited on a plane to just your quart size bag, it's perfect. Oh, Beach Waver Company Be Confident Co Wash Hydroionic Alpha Bond Multiplier. Never heard of this brand before. Paraben free, nice. Formaldehyde free, okay. Petroleum free, vegan, all this thing. I don't see anything about silicone free. So, if you have silicone in you, you will be donated into the pile. If you do not, I will try you. But honestly, for this much hair, this much co-wash ain't gonna make much of a difference. I have to cut my hair short. All right, what else we got up in here? It, confidence in a cream, anti-aging, travel size. Nice, I've had it before, enjoy it, not bad. What else? Uh, Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. I hate Glam Glow, I hate all their products. I've tried them, I can't stand them. I just, something about the texture and the smell. Uh, perfect Repair Treatment Mask for hair. From Nature Labs Tokyo. Again, as long as you don't have any silicones, I'll keep you. If you do, you're getting donated. Right now, it looks pretty good. Dolce Gabbana Light Blue for men. My husband won't wear it because he rarely wears cologne. Even I have bought him a million of them. And most of them smell really good on him, but he never stops to put it on. I guess he thinks I only have a nose when we go out to dinner somewhere fancy or to a wedding. Aqua de Joya Eau de Parfum. I believe I had this already. It's nice. It's very light. I might keep it. I might give it away. Coach Floral, right there. You say flowers. I can't wear it. Tea Roses. I love the smell of actual roses. In skincare, roses smell like crap on me, so that's getting donated. Verb Ghost Shampoo and Conditioner. These have some form of silicone in them, I believe, so they are getting donated. The Double Duty uh, Beauty Shape Tape Sampler. Three out of four colors won't work on me, so we can just go ahead and donate it. I already have a couple shades that I can play with. Irresistible by Givenchy Perfume. Rose Effervescent. Luscious, luscious Rose Dancing with Radiant Blonde Wood. Maybe I'll give that one to mom. Shishado Ginza Tokyo. Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector Broad Spectrum SPF 42. I'll keep it. And then we have the bag. So, in all, not too shabby. Got some decent sized travel products. Love this stuff. Not just your foils. Like these are getting donated. That's donated. This, I don't know yet. I might keep it. I might donate. But, you know, I mean, it could be a lot worse. And again, it was free with purchase, which I had already spent my money and my points on stuff. Because I think this was the order that I tried to kill the remaining points, which was like $3 of points. And I ended up spending, I think, 60 bucks on stuff. Or was it 70? Ah. I think, yeah, the candles came out to 60 something. I can't remember. It was enough. So that's where we're at right now. I want to thank you very much for watching me un unveil the giant box that I seriously wasn't even expecting because it's still saying that it's order processing. So how is it processing when it's in my house? Anyway, be well. Happy holiday season for those who celebrate, for those who don't, for whatever reason. I respect it. And I know that the holidays are hard for a lot of people. People who have lost people. People who have had bad experiences at the holidays. I just ask that you you, you hold on and don't do anything rash or um, permanent because circumstances always change. And you can't undo certain things. So be safe. Thank you for your time today. As I repack this box and try and drag it upstairs to the Christmas room, a.k.a. The other bedroom where my beauty hoard lives so I can get to labeling and then from labeling to unpacking and doing all manner of whatchamacallit things. Wrapping. Yes, wrapping. So I, was, I really am honored that you spend your time here with me and I'm just putting all the lip stuff in here to keep it safe. And I wish you a great day. And just remember that nothing in life is permanent. And, you know, I try and make life pleasant for people. Live vicariously through others, right? 
So just be the best you that you can be. That's all anyone can ever really ask of you. And if no one else has said it today, you're friggin' fabulous. I love you. And I thank you for being here. And I will catch you again. So you better come back. See you later.